Hello tankers and tankettes and uh, welcome to a quick tutorial video I guess, it's not going to be a proper video today. Uh, in the last couple of replays that I've put up I've noticed a fair few people have picked up on the fact that I have a custom six sense sound and as of patch 9.16 you can set your own basically and I thought I'd maybe do a little uh, a quick tutorial on how to do it and maybe also a quick tutorial on how to grab a sound clip from somewhere that you want to use yourself. Now, the way that you um, find this setting to begin with, it's in obviously your sound settings tab. And uh, I keep thinking you can click and drag the settings, but you can't. But yeah, you have down here environmental uh, elements. So you can obviously use the standard one. You've got a second one, which just sounds kind of weird to me. Yeah, I don't know who on earth would be using that one. And then you can set your own, which of course in my case is... Are you still there? Which is one of the turrets from Portal. It's one of the, the turret responses. There are a variety of them. That's the one I went with because it's uh, somehow very fitting. So it's not particularly obvious how you do this, but if you mouse over, this little pop-up appears and it says... To use your own sound, rename your MP3 file to Sixth Sense and move it to the res slash audio WW folder. So you have to go into the client folder and it's this folder here, res audio WW. And as you can see, this is Are you still there? the MP3 file. So um, you want something short, basically. Uh, it, it has to be an MP3 format file. And uh, although there are sites where you can download um, clips, quite often those are in uh, WAV format, and um, so you'll need to convert them. So if you want to record your own from, say, a YouTube video, or you want to convert a WAV file, uh, or just get rid of tanks, if I would just close tanks entirely, well, it's actually quite easy to do. You need a free bit of software called Audacity. You also need to make sure that your sound settings, if we go to recording devices, are set up so that this thing appears. It needs to have stereo mix on this list. It needs to be enabled, which it might not be. You might have to um, make sure that show disabled and show disconnected devices is selected. This is all Windows 10, by the way, but I think it's relatively similar on Windows 7 and upwards. Um, and just make sure that Stereo Mixer is enabled because when you go into Audacity, if you want to record stuff uh, coming from your system, you need to have this Stereo Mix option here. You could also, I mean, if you've got a microphone, you could record yourself and use that as a sound clip, I suppose. But uh, yeah. So we're going to go with that first. We're going to record something. Let's say you have a desperate need to have the Wilhelm scream, a very famous sound effect as your sixth sense sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to set Audacity recording, which is not picking up my microphone, it's picking up system sounds, and we'll hit play on the YouTube video. <coughs> and there we go, that has recorded that. So basically, we trim this, and you've got your sound effect. It's very simple. If I can get it to play. <coughs> so, that's done. But you need to have it as an mp3 file. Now Audacity, as you download it out of the box, can't do this because there's some kind of copyright thing. So with Audacity, what you need to do is you go to preferences and it basically tells you where to get it. It's even got a, a basically a, a button. Uh, you go to, uh, where are we? It is libraries. And then it'll, by default, it won't have the correct codec for exporting as an mp3 but what you can do is you can just click this download button and it takes you to a page although it doesn't take you directly to the page that you need it takes you to the uh, audacity wiki and then you click this link here and then you get the uh, the either a little exe install or you can just get it with a zip file so once you've downloaded it you just tell audacity where it is which is fairly uh, straightforward. And once you've done all that, assuming you've now got the MP3 codec properly installed, 
you can export audio. And we'll just do it to the desktop mp3 file. And we'll just call it wilhelm.mp3 and this will export it. So there we go. Now we've got our mp3. <coughs> the Wilhelm scream. But we could use as the sixth sense sound if we want. Obviously, to actually um, use that as your sixth sense sound, you have to... Uh, in fact, we'll just do that. We'll uh, quickly um, rename that one, and we'll rename this. I'm not quite sure why the formatting is as it is with a capitalized second S, but if I go into uh, Launch World of Tanks once again, which I probably should have just left open to begin with. Although, I don't know, you might have to restart it for it to pick up the new uh, mp3 file. But in principle, this should show up as our new Sixth Sense sound. So here we are, logged in again, and we'll go right back into the settings, and in theory... There we go, <laughs> the Wilhelm scream is now our Sixth Sense sound. So, um, yeah, that's how you set that. You can also, with Audacity, and it's a, a very nice little program, I'll get rid of that again, um, you can also, uh, let's say you happen to have an existing uh, a WAV file or an MP3 or something, and what you can do is, in that case, you uh, get your file, in this case I've just plucked out a random sound effect file that I happen to have, uh, and we're going to want to... Uh, tell it to open in Audacity, which apparently I need to hunt down on the list. So, tell you what, I'll just do a. I'm going to have to set this as an option, aren't I? I'll just do a quick, uh, a, a quick edit. So, um, I've done this the long-winded way. I've added it to my list of uh, programs that I can open up the thing with, but I could also have just told it that I wanted to, to open a file and that probably would have been easier uh, anyway so uh, it's the same thing it opens it up and um, you just clip out the bit that you want so let's say we want um, say two pulses of the uh, the Star Trek red alert sound and it would sound like this which I'm not sure I would use that but you know it, it's uh, a thing I can do if I really want to so um, there we go hey presto that that's now done so you can do that with any mp3 or, or any file uh, that uh, audacity can open basically any audio file you can just clip out the bit that you want and that can be your sixth sense sound so um yeah that is how you have a custom sixth sense sound alert in world of tanks these days and i think that was quite a nice little change and uh i hope they do that at warships as well it'd be quite nice to be able to set your own sounds for stuff like that so it's not anything big or earth shattering it's just uh it's nice of Wargaming to have made that an option. You don't have to hunt down a mod that somebody may or may not have done. Because a lot of the, the sound mods that existed previously, I, I never used a custom uh, one for the Sixth Sense um, sound because most of them were just kind of annoying. And it's a sound you're going to be hearing over and over again. So you kind of want it to be something that that is, you know, not going to annoy you. So hopefully you found this useful. And if you have, you can uh, hit the like button. You can leave any comments below. And sub to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, stay tuned for more.